My name is Malika and welcome to Bite Size English, the Bite Size program with a whole lot of English. As all the girls, I'm a bit crazy about fashion. And today I'm going to tell you about some fashion facts from the past that you probably didn't know. To talk about past states and habits, we use the used to construction. Remember that it is always followed by the infinitive. Vivian Lee, who played Scarlett O'Hara in the legendary Gone with the Wind, used to be a real fashion icon of the 30s. Fashion icon is someone who has become very popular for being extremely fashionable. Another word for fashionable, which is even more fashionable than fashionable, is trendy. Someone who attentively follows all the fashion trends. One of such new trends for women is to have a short haircut. But in the past, it wasn't very trendy because only unfaithful wives used to wear short hair. The hair was cut short to make a stamp of shame. Well, I bet you didn't know that accessories used to be worn mainly by men, not by women in the past. Accessories are items that you wear that could be anything from jewelry and high heel shoes to hats and bags. So, men used to be the first to wear jewelry as a status symbol or as a good luck amulet that helped them in battle. Surprised? Not very much. Okay, listen to this then. Although high heel shoes or boots have more often been worn by women, in various times and places, they used to be man's footwear too. Mongolian horsemen were the first to use heels as means to keep their feet from sliding out. You might have already met some expressions quite similar to used to construction. In order not to confuse them, let's look at them more carefully. Used to is for something happens regularly in the past, but no longer happens. For example, I used to go to school five years ago, but now I don't. Used to do is different from to be used to doing and to get used to doing. We used to be used to doing to say that something is normal, not unusual for us. For example, I'm used to living on my own. I've done it for quite a long time. We used to get used to doing, to talk about the process of something becoming normal for us. The first few million days of Bite Says English were quite unusual and difficult for me, but I quickly got used to being a TV presenter and I really enjoy it now. So, let's review what we have learned today. To talk about past states and habits, we use the used to construction. Don't forget that it's always followed by the infinitive. Don't confuse that used to do is different from to be used to doing and to get used to doing. We use used to for something that happened regularly in the past but no longer happens. We use to be used to doing to say that something is normal, not unusual for us. We use to get used to doing to talk about the process of something becoming normal for us. Now we know a little more about fashion and its interesting facts from the past. Why not to be trendy and try to us at Bite Size English KZ on Facebook or bk.com? That was Bite Size English. Thanks for being with us. Bye-bye. Thank you.